it is me, Jennifer Carr, the know-it-all mom, and I'm coming at you in a video today because I have a health topic that I think is utterly important for right now. Um, it's kind of a last minute thing, so if you hear my dogs bark, if you hear my kid running through the house, whatever the case may be, uh, I do apologize for that, but this is very important. I think that we need to have a talk about taking care of your brain uh, in the face of the virus that is out there, okay? Um, I have read multiple reports of people saying that even months after having contracted COVID, their brain is just foggy all the time. Their thinking processes, their mental clarity just lacking and that they've been plagued with headaches for weeks like even after they are testing negative even after uh, their other symptoms have gone away their neurological symptoms are still there because it affects the brain um, and what's interesting is that viruses in general affect the brain it's not just this particular one any kind of sickness um, but virus bacteria anything like that can affect your brain and it can cause brain damage in a way that um, we're still not sure we understand completely. But here's what you need to know. Here's what you need to look out for and here's how you can help your brain get better faster and to protect it in case you do come into contact with a virus. All right, sorry my dog just walked in. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to talk about today is called the myelin sheath. All right, the myelin sheath is this little um, sheath Okay, it like wraps around your nerve cells. And what happens is the message that is sent from any of your extremities, whether any of your senses, your sight, sound, taste, feel, smell, all of that, the message comes in. If you touch something hot, your nerves immediately start sending a message to your brain that says, ow, that's hot, take your hand away. Or, you know, take the source away, whatever the case may be. So the myelin sheath is kind of like tread on the tires, only it's not on the message, it's on the path. All right, and what happens is the message can attach better to the nerves that are healthy, that have a healthy myelin sheath. Well, if this sheath starts to deteriorate, and it does over time anyway, when it comes to aging, this is what happens. Your body begins to break down, um, and this includes not just your nerve cells, but the sheath that covers them. Well, then the message gets slower because then it has to jump over nerve cells, and sometimes when that message arrives to the brain, it's distorted, it's not exactly the right message. And that's where the brain fog comes in, that's where the slow reaction times comes in, um, and because the message is slower getting there. So what I want to share with you are some easy ways to take care of and boost the myelin sheath. Um, now, this is still, they're done on small scale um, studies. And so it's not widespread, um, information. I'm not giving you something that everybody knows about because not everybody believes in natural medicine. Like not everybody believes in natural solutions. Um, and so what I'm going to share with you, um, it's scientifically proven. It's just not going to be something that the top scientists out there are going to tell on Twitter or Facebook or anything like that because it's not a pharmaceutical. Okay. Just saying. So, um, the first thing that I want us to think about <laughs> I told you, sorry. Uh, the first thing that you need to start doing, and this, and it's interesting, if you look at some of the research that's being done on COVID-19 and other viruses of the sorts, um, is boosting your vitamin D levels, okay? When you boost your vitamin D levels, it works very differently in the body um, than, say, vitamin C and that kind of thing. Vitamin D is crucial for a lot, including, and most importantly, your brain health. And with this vitamin D, um, you want to make sure that you're taking it correctly. Uh, let's see. Uh, I lost exactly in my notes where I was going to... Oh, vitamin D3. I was going to specifically mention vitamin D3. Well, Young Living offers a supplement called Super D, and that is going to cover your vitamin D that you need. Now, if you have darker skin, uh, you're going to need more vitamin D than those of us with lighter skin. Uh, and what you need to do is you need to go see your doctor. And this is true for anything that I tell you. You need to go talk to your doctor about it because he's your doctor or she's your doctor, uh, especially if you're on medications. But vitamin D is going to be one of the top things that uh, boosts your immune system. It improves myelination and it helps with brain health. Okay, so vitamin D should be at the top of your list, closely followed by omega-3s and DHA. You find that in fish oils and you need to make sure it's a high quality fish oil. Young Living has one called Omega Gize. Uh, amazing. DHA, uh, omega-3s. You can also get your omega-3s from your diet, which is huge when it comes to taking care of your brain as well. And we're about to start a podcast series um, actually 
Monday, it starts the um, about taking care of your brain and how to change your brain if it starts to have deficiencies. Um, but you will learn that diet is huge when it comes to caring for your brain. So you're, right now we've talked Super D, right, and Omega Gis, right, your vitamin D and your Omega 3s, fish oil, that kind of thing, but also vitamin C. And it seems kind of like a no-brainer, right? We've always heard vitamin C for the immune system, absolutely for the immune system, but it also can help rebuild and protect the myelin on your nerves. And the reason that you want to protect the myelin on your nerves, again, is because you need the messages to get to where they need to go. You need the um, communication between here and everywhere else to be accurate and correct. And when you have, oh, also when you have myelin deterioration, you're going to end up with pain that's like at, um, neuropathy. Your nerve endings are going to just constantly be giving you issues, um, which is another reason to focus on your diet because inflammation that can really come from sugar, processed foods, um, a lot of heavy white starches, those kinds of things will cause inflammation inside your body and your nerves start reacting and they can't stop reacting. Um, so one, your diet is key for that reason, but two, Taking care of the myelin sheath will also help to reduce the noise, right, the friction of what's happening across your nerves. It's amazing once you start looking at the human body from the inside and saying, hey, look at all these little nerve cells. There's trillions of nerve cells, you know, where you have to take care of each one of them. Well, that seems impossible. Not really. All it is is some uh, key points that you have to take care of and address in your lifestyle. And it is all about a lifestyle change and not just one change, but overall. Um, and then you need to look into iodine and choline and zinc. Zinc is a huge one. Again, amazing for the immune system, but it is also crucial for brain health and development, and it will help to uh, build that myelin sheath back up. One of the supplements that I would suggest for this is a multivitamin called Master Formula. It is one that's going to cover all of your major vitamins and some uh, minerals and trace minerals that uh, your body needs to be well-rounded and healthy all throughout. Um, your vitamin B's are going to be important. Your potassium uh, iron is going to be important. That's good for energy. So if you're low energy, um, iron is going to, could be one of your friends. Again, talk to your doctor about it. They can do blood tests to check your levels of all of these things so you can see where you are uh, and find out where you are deficient and what you need to focus on. Uh, potassium, biotin, folate. Um, so your vitamin B's. Super B is a wonderful supplement for your B vitamins. It's going to cover all of them. And you want to talk about energy for days. Um, super B is one of those that makes you want to put on a cape and be as super as it is. It is phenomenal. Um, your copper, yes. Um, thiamine, yes. That's, those are going to be found in your multivitamin. Okay. So some other things to help grow back, protect, enforce the myelin sheath. Um, you're looking at ashwagandha. It is a, um, a supplement that you can find at uh, most health food stores, but you can also find it in Young Living's Power Gize, all right? It's in the supplement Power Gize. Uh, it's really, it's kind of new to me. Like, it's one that I've just now started looking at, but it has a lot of uses um, and is very popular in the brain health circles. So ashwagandha. Um, also, you're going to want to um, boost your brain with healthy fats, okay? Uh, and by healthy fats, I'm talking not just your omega-3s, you know, specifically, but your, your good fats, coconut oil, olive oil, those kinds of things, um, your avocado, all that jazz, um, or you could use Young Living's, it's called Olive Essentials. Um, it's just a supplement that helps to add that into your diet if you're not a fan of the other options, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, melatonin. So if you're not sleeping, first of all, you need to sleep. And I know sometimes when you're dealing with illness, virus, bacteria, whatever the case may be, a weakened immune system, sleep is hard to come by, but you have got to sleep. So maybe you need to boost your melatonin levels and work on that. Um, Imupro is a supplement that is going to help you uh, not only boost your immune system as it's based on the Ningxia wolfberry, which we have talked about in the past, and I will continue to, to tout its praises, um, but Imupro is also a melatonin. It has melatonin in it. Um, I take it at night and it's it works wonders like it doesn't knock you out right it, it helps to supplement your natural melatonin and helps to bring that into balance as essential oils and supplements are supposed to do um, and it's one that it not only boosts your immune system but it will help you sleep um, healthy hormone levels are crucial to brain health 
um, but also to overall wellness. And so to keep your hormones in balance, ladies, we know that that can be a roller coaster ride. You need to talk to your um, OBGYN about that and kind of get an idea where you are with your hormone level. So you know what you need to focus on, whether you're looking at um, your phytoestrogens that you find in things like Dragon Time essential oil, or um, maybe you need to focus on your progesterone and progestins plus, whatever the case may be. Um, but happy, healthy hormones. Men, if you're looking, you need a testosterone leveling, um, Shutron is going to be your friend and go to on that one, um, among other things. But that's the one that comes to mind most readily. Um, acetylcholine, okay, is one of those things that uh, if you want to increase your myelination. Um, production. Okay. Uh, you're going to look at acetylcholine. You can find Alcar and Co uh, CoQ10 in MindWise. It's a cute little pouch. Um, it's all you need for a day of um, Alcar, CoQ10, uh, Sacha Inchi seed oil, among other things. And this is one that I'm talking brain health. Like if you did nothing else for your brain and myelination, I would say MindWise would be the way to go. Um, I don't love the flavor, right? I'm just going to say that I don't love the flavor. I mix it with my ninja and I am fine. Um, however, uh, I am, I won't, I don't like it by itself, <laughs> but it's such a small little pouch that even if I didn't have ninja to put it in, I'm going to take it every day because brain health matters that much, right? I can get past that, um, the flavor issue. And then the CB1 cannabin, uh, cannabinoid receptor is activated by naturally produced cannabinoids is being researched uh, for myelin formation, uh, which means, I don't know if you picked up on the cannabinoid, CBD oil. Uh, using CBD oil uh, on a daily basis, not, and I'm not talking with THC, like just your CBD, natural CBD oil. Young Living has an entire line of that. It's fantastic. Um, you can use it topically. You can use it sublingually under your tongue, whatever. Um, but that's one of those. You need to trigger those receptors so that they can begin uh, the myelination, myelination process as well. And you may be doing these things already, and that's great. Um, you are doing what needs to be done to keep your body healthy. And if you do get sick, don't stop. I know it's very easy to get out of routine when you get hit with an illness or a sickness, whatever. Um, but don't stop and do it more. Um, early and often for prevention and aggressively for when you're in the midst of it. That's that's the um, motto that we live by when it comes to our essential oils. Uh, finally, let's see, there was one more. Uh, yes, you need to avoid um, sugar and alcohol. That is going to cause inflammation. We talked about that. Avoiding sugar and alcohol causes, um, allows your body to avoid inflammation. The inflammation in that case begins to, your body begins to attack itself from the inside. That's what happens. Um, you have these little uh, reactive oxygen species cells in your body that when a foreign invader comes in, these guys react. They are reactive uh, and they start to attack. Well, if your own cells are full of sugar and alcohol, they are inflamed. And so these reactive oxygen species cells come in and they're like, Rah, you're not supposed to be here. And that's a problem. Uh, now, I will say that I guess I should also mention antioxidants would be an amazing way to combat that because what happens is the antioxidants um, take on the reactive oxidant, uh, oxygenated species cells, the ROS cells, and take them out, right, so that they're not attacking your own cells. Um, so boosting your antioxidants is also fantastic. Now, vitamin C and vitamin D are going to be really high in antioxidants as it is. You could add Ninja Red into your routine, and that would also be an amazing addition um, just to an overall health and wellness regimen, um, but also to help your body continue to do the processes that it is supposed to do on its own uh, without a whole lot of other uh, interference. So I know that was a lot of information. I know I kind of talked fast. I will put in the comments a list of all the things that I mentioned uh, so that you can kind of make a plan for what you need to add to your arsenal, uh, your wellness arsenal, as I like to call it. And I hope that this finds you happy, safe, and well, and healthy, and that you're not facing all of these things that I'm talking about. But I want you to be prepared. I want you to take care of your brain, because without your brain, you've got nothing else. Um, and go ahead and head over to anchor.fm, that's A-N-C-H-O-R.fm, slash the know-it-all mom, and subscribe to the podcast, because the series that we're about to start on, talking about brain health, It'll blow your mind, um, <laughs> for lack of a better catchy term or whatever. Um, so anyway, we're going to start a whole series on brain health, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to rock your world. We're going to change our brains so we can change our lives um, and the lives of those around us, because if we don't have our brain, we have nothing else. So if you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to send me a message, comment, or whatever you need to do, uh, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Y'all have a great rest of your week.